demystifying hypnosis and taking away the magic. See, movies didn't didn't do us any favor because they they present hypnosis as power over an individual. Power, I I am the big bad hypnotherapist and I am going to do things to you. So it's this, I have power over you approach, which we don't take. Uh, We recognize that actually hypnosis, and this is important, all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. Now, what does that mean? It simply means that it's nothing I can do to you that you're not doing to yourself. Then what's the secret? The secret is cooperation, collaboration, and also you as the client following, very important, following my suggestions and you are doing it to yourself. You said 90% or maybe even more of everything we do or all our functions are automatic, they're unconscious. Um, so when people talk about you know being conscious or living consciously, where does that fall into? Well, it's the consciousness equals awareness. Awareness of what? Good question, huh? Awareness of one's own existence, which means I'm aware at every moment in time of what I'm thinking, every thought I'm having, what I'm feeling, every emotion I go through, how am I feeling right now? Every function, everything that I do, it's the act of awareness. And I would like to propose that most people are not aware. What was exactly that you were thinking of one minute ago? People think that hypnosis is something so different from what they already have experienced. But as you look at different stages of hypnosis from very light to the, the most the depth of hypnosis, and you take it one by one, people have experienced already all those stages of hypnosis without formal trance. Let's take an example, yeah? In, 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 as we go from, from, let's say medium trance, for instance, one of them is rapport. And rapport in NLP is defined differently from rapport in hypnosis. In NLP, we know is the process of matching and mirroring, which teaches us how to get in rapport with any person we so wish. In hypnosis is defined as the magical mystical state where the, where the patient or the client sees or hears only the operator or the hypnotherapist. So I would like to propose that everything that you experience in hypnosis with formal trans induction, you have already experienced. Therefore, and here is the important part, there is nothing in hypnosis that you experience that you haven't experienced before. Now, I do hypnosis shows as well for the purpose of teaching, only for the purpose of teaching when, when I teach, you know, in a master practitioner, the hypnosis. And so I do hypnosis shows. And sometimes I have students come on, on, on in front of the room and they exhibit all the hypnotic phenomena. And then I say to them, are you in trance? And they go, no, I'm not. And, and I, being a trained hypnotherapist, I can recognize clearly that they are in trance. And you, you know exactly what I'm talking about because you're, you are, you are, you know, teaching this and very professional at it. So we know what that means. So, but that's because people think that hypnosis is very different from what they already have experienced in their normal day and normal life. And that's incorrect. Always we blame the outside world for for being the cause for our misfortune or for us feeling, feeling bad or for us feeling miserable. It's my husband, it's my wife. If they were different, then I would be happy. And the point I'm making here, the only point I'm making here, and I'm not saying you should do this or not. By the way, I'm very, very permissive. I'm very permissive when I teach trainings. I'm just telling you how it works. The point is that if you are a victim and you are at the effect, there is nothing you can do to change because you can't change other people outside. I mean, you can try, you can fight with them. How easy it is to change. No, let's, let's be serious. How, how easy it is to change another person? How easy it is to change something that's bigger than you, like the economy or the, the government's action, the politician, the prime minister, and so on and so forth. And what I'm sharing with you here 
has the potential of really changing your life because you start thinking differently. You start focusing toward what you want instead. Wasn't that absolutely fantastic? I'm sure that you found a lot of information in this very short video you just saw, maybe like four or five, six minutes, however long it was. But that is not all. You can have access to the entire presentation of this amazing speaker, plus 40 more other presentations and speakers. And you can have access for life. You can have access to the video recording, to the audio recording, to the swipe files, to the transcripts, to all of the bonuses and special gifts that all of the speakers and presenters and also the organizers are offering in the premium pass package. So if you like this, if you want more, make sure to sign up below for the premium pass and have lifetime access to everything. I'm sure it'll be one of the best investments you've ever made in your life, in yourself, in your practice, in your health, and also with working with clients. So go ahead, click on the button below, sign up for the premium pass, and we'll see you on the other side.